Hayami! What is it? Wow, Arata is small and cute today, too. I wonder why he asked me to come here. Can it be that he's going to tell me he likes me? No, no way. Not to someone unpopular like me. That couldn't happen. I like you. Please go out with me. What? Uh, yes, yes! My name is Daisuke Arata. I'm in my junior year of high school. My goal is to get into one of the top national universities after I graduate from high school. My family's not so rich, so I can't go to a cram school. That's why I study at the library after school every day and look out the window when I want to take a break. Hayami's working hard today, too. This is my classmate, Nagi Hayami. She's one of the top athletes in the country for javelin throw. She's the only one who belongs to the track and field club, but it's already decided that she'll participate in the inner high school national tournament. Because of her cool beauty, people regard her as a solitary existence. I've been encouraged by the way she silently practices every day. Thanks to her, I was able to get the best score in my year. I realized that I'd come to have feelings for Hayami. Hayami, I like you. Please go out with me. Ah. Uh... No way! We both liked each other? I was always lonely because I was the only member of the track and field club, but when I saw Arata study alone in the library, I felt encouraged by his hard work. The reason I was able to represent the school for the inter-high school national tournament was thanks to him. On top of that, Arata is small and cute and is exactly my type. Yes! Let's go out! Oh, really? Great! Oh, he's so cute! I want to hug him right now! I want to kiss him, too! But if I do that suddenly, he would probably not like it. Ugh, I need to get away before I give in to my temptations! Then, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I couldn't help but wonder, what? As I saw Hayami leave, is it so emotionless when one becomes a couple? Yes, yes! I am so happy to be alive that I can be together with Arata! I wanted to make my girlfriend happy, and worked hard for it, especially because she was the first person I ever went out with. Hayami, do you want to go out somewhere together this coming Sunday? Sure. Yes, the first day! Is there any place you would like to go to? Anywhere is fine. Anywhere with Arata would be so much fun! Oh, okay. Hmm, maybe she isn't so eager to go? But I'll work hard and make sure it's an enjoyable date. After I did a lot of research, I decided on going to the zoo, and on the day of our date, Hayami appeared right before our meeting time. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that was close. I took too much time wondering which clothes to wear. It's the first time I've seen you wear something other than the school uniform. If he says that I look strange in my clothes, I will be so shocked. You look good in those clothes. Yes, he told me I look good in these clothes. I wish I recorded this on my smartphone. Uh, Hayami? Oh, I'm so happy that I can look at his face. Thanks. Let's buy the tickets quickly. Oh, was she not happy to hear that? It's hard to talk with girls. After that, we went around to see many different animals. Elephants, lions, rhinoceroses. Hayami remained expressionless and didn't seem to be enjoying herself at all. The koalas and red pandas were cute. Sorry, I didn't see them that much. Because Arata is a million times cuter than they are, I want to show up to the whole world that he's my boyfriend. Hmm? Was it a mistake to have chosen the zoo? Today is such a happy day! To be able to go on a date with Arata? This makes me so much more nervous than going through the preliminary in the inter-high school tournament! I have such sweaty hands! Let me get up my courage and hold her hand. Uh! I don't want him to find my sweaty hands disgusting! I also have so many blisters from throwing the javelins! She rejected me! On other days, we went to a movie theater, an amusement park, and all the other places I could think of, but the dates did not go so well. Hayami always looked expressionless and did not seem to be having fun. I felt like this was just a one-way thing. I was the one who was mostly sending her instant messages. So, Arata, what did you do today? My mom cooked some pork with ginger. It was yummy. Well, it would just be annoying to receive such meaningless message, I guess. I erased a message that had taken me an hour to write. I want to see Arata again soon. After such days, confused, I came to a decision. On our way home together, Hayami, hmm? why don't we break up? Uh! I like Hayami, but as hard as I try to make her have fun, she doesn't seem to be enjoying our time together. It's painful. Okay, then see you. Hayami left without changing her face. Does it mean that going out with me didn't mean much to her? Oh, why, why, why? I was so surprised that I gave a normal reaction. Did I do something to make him hate me? I couldn't move myself for a while. The next day, I went to school feeling depressed, but suddenly, I bumped into Hayami. Oh, good morning. Morning. I have a morning practice, so see you. Uh-huh. I cried all night long, so I look terrible. I can't show him my face now. 
After school, I was studying in the library as usual, but I couldn't get myself to concentrate. When I looked out the window, I saw Hayami practicing diligently. She seemed to be completely okay. I wonder if she didn't care to break up with me or not. Hayami is working really hard. I guess she's doing her best to prepare for the tournament? Oh, why did he break up with me? I'll just keep on moving so that I can forget this pain. And one day, after I had finished studying in the library and was about to go home, oh, I forgot my PE clothes in the classroom. We don't have school tomorrow, so if I leave them here, they'll get smelly. I decided to go to the classroom to fetch them. I opened the door to the classroom, and then... I thought I was struck by lightning! Hayami was burying her face into my PE trousers by my desk! What are you doing? What should I do? I was smelling your clothes because I was so lonely when making a guest! I have to find a good excuse. I just wondered what kind of laundry detergent you use. I see. Yes, I think my excuse worked. Then why are you wearing my PE shirt? Ah, this is the most embarrassing moment of my life! But maybe now that it's come this far, it's better to just tell him the truth. When I wear your clothes, I feel like I'm being hugged by you. Why would you want that? Because I still like you so much. Oh, what is going on? Weren't you bored spending time with me? Not at all. It was always fun. I was so happy. I usually don't show my emotions, so maybe it looked like that? Then when I tried to hold your hand, why did you reject me? Oh, see, when I get nervous, I get really sweaty hands. Oh, I see. And my hands are big and not cute. I have many blisters from throwing the javelin. That shows how hard you work. I think they're beautiful hands. Oh. Sorry I misunderstood the situation. I thought that you didn't enjoy spending time with me, and that made me feel hurt. So that's why I asked you to break up with me. I see. No, it's my fault. I've always been like this. I can't tell the people around me my feelings and become isolated, but I really want to have many friends. I see. Solitary was just an image people came to have of her. Hayami? Yes? I still like you, too. I know we had our misunderstandings, but could you go out with me once more? Yes, I hope I'll be good enough. Yes, please. Yes! Also, this is just a suggestion, but why don't we solve the problem you've had for a long time? We can practice letting your emotions come out more. For Hayami to show her emotions more easily, I read tons of books, looked on the internet, and thought of ways to practice. Then came the time to put it into action. Let's start the practice from today. Yes, please. First, could you try saying things that you're thinking? I think you have the tendency to keep it all in. True, I got it. Well, this lunch is delicious. I am very happy that I can eat it with you, Arata. Yes. Oh, even I'm getting embarrassed from this. That omelet looks delicious. I want you to feed it to me. Please? What? Oh, uh, okay. I asked her to go through with this practice, so I can't say no. I fed her my omelets to Hayami as if I were giving her a treat from going through this training. That was yummy. Glad to hear it. Next, I want to hug you, Arata. Then stop. Let's think about our manners a bit. Hayami is still honest. I'm glad she can say what she's thinking now, but she needs to make adjustments. Next is this. A mirror? Yes, the reason why the people around you can't understand your emotions is because you don't show them on your face. I think that may be because your facial muscles aren't developed so much. The facial muscles? When you look in the mirror, first practice smiling, and then make all kinds of facial expressions. That way, your facial muscles will get stronger, and you can show a variety of emotions. I wonder if I can do it. Of course, you're always practicing javelin throw by yourself. Compared to that, this is much easier. I like that you're encouraging me, Arata. Thanks. I also prepared one more thing. What is it? This is gum for athletes. When you're practicing javelin throw, you can chew on this and continue to develop your facial muscles. I see. Also, it seems like the power of chewing is important for sports. When you throw javelin, you need power in a very short amount of time, so by chewing at the right moment, you can improve your performance. By chewing gum, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. <sighs> Oh, she stopped talking. I guess I went too far by giving her suggestions on how to practice her javelin throw. Thanks. You did so much research for me. Yes, but since it was for you, it wasn't hard at all. You're important to me. Oh, I like you so much. I want to hug you. Let's get married. I want to give birth to your child. We're in school! After that, Hayami's practice began. She had diligently practiced as the only member of the track and field club. For her, practicing was natural. There were already good results. She started to be able to say what she thought and to be proactive with her words, and... Hayami, where do you want to go on our next date? Anywhere. Well, I want to go to a pool with you. Okay, let's go. Also, can we call each other by our first names? Sure. Then, Daisuke. Nagi. <laughs> I will probably never forget that smile. Oh, Daisuke, is there anything else I should do for practice? Well, let's see. 
I'd be happy if you also sent me more instant messages. I'm usually the only one sending them, and it would be even nicer if they were cheerful messages. I got it. I'll send them to you tonight. Oh, messages from Nagi. Let's see. Hi, Desuke. I had a great time today, too. Did you already go to bed? I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Kisses! XX! Like a middle-aged guy's message. I guess she tried to make it sound cheerful, so it was a little strange, but she was steadily making improvements, and she started to become more familiar with her classmates as well. You and Arata are really good friends. I'm proud of having him as my boyfriend. <laughs> you are honest. Actually, I also have someone I like, but I wonder how I can get closer to him. After school, you could secretly smell that person's P.E. clothes. Oh no! It's true that that worked out for us, but... <laughs> I didn't know that you liked to joke too, Hayami. That was close. But I am kind of surprised. You're much more easy to talk to than I expected. Next time... Hmm? Why don't we eat lunch together? <laughs> that would be great! I'll also tell my friends. See you! Good job. Maybe you can be friends with her. Yes! It's all thanks to you, Daisuke. No, it's because you worked hard. Then, it was summer. Nagi was at the Inner High School National Tournament. I came with Nagi's friend to cheer her on. Nagi! Nagi, you can do it! Nagi looked in our direction once, and then she threw the javelin. Go! And won the tournament. This is Miss Nagi Hayami, who won the javelin throw. Congratulations! Thank you very much! Who would you like to share this happiness with? Usually it would be her teacher or her parents, but... My boyfriend, who I love! You're being too honest! But when I saw Nagi smile, I thought it didn't matter what others thought. Nagi! I want to continue to be together with this clumsy but honest girl. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.